This is known as a stalked egg, but who does it belong to? Let's dive right in. Welcome to Bug of the Week Part 4, brought to you by Lil Dude's Insect Academy. If you're new here, consider checking out all the other episodes that we have in store for you guys, and also consider subscribing and dropping a like. That helps a lot. Also, uh, make some comments about, you know, any questions you have or any observations that you um, learned about or maybe something you didn't know about this bizarre bug. Um, another announcement that I wanted to make is that Lil Dude's Insect Academy is a nonprofit. We have been for a while, and um, the reason that these videos are possible is because of generous donors um, like yourself. So maybe consider going to uh, the description. We have a link in there for um, you to donate if you feel led to. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into this episode. Within the large family of Chrysopidae belongs these guys. Commonly referred to as lace wings, these insects are extremely unique and just as equally bizarre. There are about 1,300 to 2,000 species of lacewing ranging from North America and into Europe. For the purposes of this video, I will be discussing the most lush North American dwelling species, the green lacewing, which is probably what you'll find if you find one in your area. Let's first begin with the egg and larval stages of this insect. Adult female lacewings lay some 100, 100 to 200 eggs in a sitting, around a colony of aphids, which are the young lacewings' prey of choice. Lacewing eggs are individually laid on the tip of a silk stalk, protecting them from sibling cannibalism. Immediately after hatching, the young larvae molt for the first time and climb down the egg stalks. These larvae closely resemble that of the ladybug and of the antlion, of which they are closely related. Because lacewing larvae feed on small insects such as aphids and mites, they are often used as a natural form of biological pest control being sold to gardeners and farmers as larvae to release in their gardens and in their farms to feed on those little pesty bugs. Unlike their adult counterparts, lacewing larvae's senses are poorly developed, and to combat this they walk in a back and forth haphazard ma fashion, catching and eating any soft-bodied bug or egg in its path. The lacewing larvae's maxillae are hollow, allowing them to secrete a digestive enzyme into their prey for ease of digestion. Once the larvae has undergone a series of instars or molts, it forms a cocoon to pupate into an adult lacewing. Now, adult lacewings are characterized by their very unique wing venation. Their bodies are typically ranging from bright green to greenish brown, and adult lacewings are nocturnal. Now, unlike the larva, adult lacewings actually have very keen senses, one of which being their metallic gold compound eyes. Lacewings have also been given a vernacular name of stink flies due to their ability to release a vile stench from their prothoracic glands when threatened. Circling back to their keen senses as adults, lacewings possess tympanal organs at the base of their forewings, enabling them to hear very efficiently. These organs can even detect vi vibrations, such as the call of a bat, which is a very dangerous predator to them. As I mentioned before, most lacewings are nocturnal, so like most nocturnal insects, they have long skinny antennae aiding them during the dark twilight hours, which is their primary hunting time. Now, the diet of an adult lacewing um, varies much more than that of the larva. While adults still feed on small, soft-bodied insects from time to time, their food of choice is pollen, nectar, and honeydew. And not the honeydew fruit, but the sweet aphid secretion, which, fun fact, some ants have been known to farm and cultivate. Now, one last fun fact that I wanted to share with you guys is, um, in order to aid in finding a mate, Lacewings put out a courtship song. The interesting thing is that many lacewing species are so morphologically similar that the only differentiation is in their courtship call, which is super unique and super bizarre because a lot of insects that have a call like that are usually somewhat similar, but these lacewings, some species, are so similar to each other that the only difference is in their call, which is fascinating. 
Now, I hope you enjoyed learning about another bizarre insect that you might not have heard about before. Um, but regardless, please consider dropping a subscribe and a like on this video. It really helps us out. And with that, I'll see you guys next week and keep on bugging.